Okay, uh, this is just a really quick video on the fly of a, a new product I've been testing uh, from 2 Air in Australia and uh, these radios, this network uses PTOC technology which is push to talk over cellular. Uh, some of you might be familiar with the Zello app on Android and, and iOS, uh, kind of similar to that but a commercial grade version with the hardware. Um, so these are two radios I'm trolling at the moment, the TA388, um, which is, both these radios are very robust. And then that, the TA388 only uh, utilizes VoIP or PTTOC um, to communicate with other users. And then this is the TA680. As you can see, it's got two antennas. One's a mobile cellular antenna and the other is a UHF band antenna. So this radio actually is unique it has a UHF board on it as well that you can transmit so you can see down the bottom you've got UHF CB channel 29 and see that up the top I've got radio 2 group 1 so basically to change between the two you just push the button on the side and where that main uh, icon shows is the free as the band that you're transmitting on or the mode you're transmitting on you can receive both at the same time you can change the settings um, so you only listen to one at a time etc um, both radios are very robust. They've both got high capacity uh, lithium ion batteries with them. I'm quite uh, pleased with the quality actually, with the build quality. Um, and testing one, two, three, four. So you can hear there is a slight delay. That's because we're using the mobile phone network. Uh, we're testing one, two, three, four. Not very much of a delay. Quite usable for a commercial use, a commercial sense. Test one, two, three, four. You can modify the names on the radios. So uh, instead of being called Radio One, this could be Rob's Radio. Um, you could have a registration plate uh, instead of it. Um, call it what you want. Same with the groups. You can have different groups set up. So you can have a nas national group where every radio in Australia can all be on that one group and talk to each other. You can have Queensland, New South Wales, separate it by states, regional locations, uh, types of users. So you could have uh, all your uh, fleet vehicles on one group the mechanics workshop on another group so you know they don't have to listen to each other all the time but they can change and talk to each other um, you also got the dispatcher software up here which shows the uh, users that are on here at the moment you can also use the um, put uh, sorry the space bar as a push to talk button on the computer, computer. and you can hear me talking I'm, I'm just pushing the space bar now one two three four five and I'm coming up on here and it's showing that dispatch was the last call so this is the computer they call that the dispatch system uh, one two three four and same deal one two three four one two three four I don't know if you can hear that but it's coming through the computer speakers so you don't need anything special on the computer uh, what you can also do as both radios are fitted with GPS and it runs all the time and updates every 60 seconds um, you can actually call up the location of each radio you can zoom in zoom out you can show tracks um, there is one I did the other day on Monday you can see where I went northern New South Wales that blue line went all the way from a woolen bar down to Casino Lismore um, the black icons are where I stopped and it logs where you stopped over here it actually tells you the trip time driving distance travel time stop time etc shows you your track speed at different locations uh, very handy uh, plus if you also do this on the handheld radio so it's got a distress button up here if I run in a strife push and hold so I've just sent a distress call just by pushing that button as is shown on this radio it says SOS next to GPS on the dispatcher software you can see and here an alarms come up and it said radio 1 SOS so it's acknowledging I've pushed the SOS button and you can display my position on the map click on display on map and I'm on mobile data for my computer at the moment because um, I'm out and about for work now that'll keep popping up we've done display on the map there we go, radio SOS. So I can hover over that. Oh, cancel that. Hover over that. It gives me the lat, long speed, direction, elevation, everything else. If I go to track as well, that'll actually show me where that radio is heading. 
So the, the way to reset that now, this radio, I need to reset the SOS by just pushing it in again and releasing it, and it turns the SOS off. It also shows on every other radio with a red bar coming up, which means a user has pressed the distress button, and it shows you the user, radio one. So I know that radio has hit the distress button.